Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Iden Plays Don't Starve from the New Year! Yay! Happy New Year! I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve and that 2014 has treated you well. Um, we are going into our 25th episode of Don't Starve because I didn't have one for you last week. And if I recall correctly, because it's been a while, we have been messing around with winter. So we're going to keep doing that now. Okie dokie. So the last episode I had for you guys was out on Boxing Day. So again, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and New Year. And we are going to get back into it now. Um, where am I? Okay, so my base is way over there. All right, I was up in beefalo territory because I am seeking beefalo wool for something. Probably a winter hat because right now I have earmuffs and a half-done winter hat, which we found, I think? I think we found it when we came up here. You'll have to excuse my um, not being quite all there at the moment. Um, the New Year showed up and my body decided that now that the Christmas rush is over at work that I don't need to be healthy anymore. So, pretty much the day after New Year's, I got a cold, and it's messing with my head a little bit. Oh, they made a beefalo baby! It's, oh, the beefalo babies are so incredibly ugly. Oh. Oh, shit! Oh! So, guys, welcome to the new year. Aiden is starting it off well by getting killed by a beefalo. How did I let that happen? Oh, it hurts so bad. Oh, no. Okay, well, we survived a total of 23 days. Oh, my God. Don't play games when you're sick. Holy crap. All right, we si survived 23 days. And you know what? I'm so happy we were making it through winter. Look at that stupid baby. He's like running around all excited that I got killed. Ah, oh. Defeated, defeated Sai. I can't even like erase this and start over. All right, well, I guess we're gonna start over. It hurts. It hurts my heart. All right, so let's go to the morgue. Beefalo. Did a lot better than Willow did, though. Willow only survived for 12 days. We at least survived for 23 with Wolfgang, so we're making progress. Um, so, who is next on the docket? Character. Let's go to characters. We did Wilson, Willow, Wolfgang. Oh, and now next up is Wendy, the bereaved. Um, I have played Wendy before, and she's got issues with her sister, if I recall correctly. Yes, haunted by her twin sister. She's comfortable with the darkness, so that's good. Unlike Wolfgang, she's not afraid of the dark. But she is a weakling. So that's no good. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, da, 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 world. Hmm. Can I delay winter? That would be nice. Season start. Yeah, I definitely want to start in the summer. Screw winter. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Daytime default. There's a lot of options you can mess with. Alright. You know what? Uh, no? I'm pretty sure I actually did not really change anything. So, okay, let's start over with Wendy. So now we're generating everything again. Oh, man. I guess Wolfgang just wasn't meant to be. All right, Wendy. So we are right back at the beginning. Nothing on our map. What is that? Abigail's flower. It was my sister's flower. She's gone far, far away. Hmm. I haven't played Wendy since their new uh, superpower type things were activated, put into the game, what have you. So maybe that has to do something with hers. Um, but now we are in the sort of not so exciting part of Don't Starve where you need to run around and gather all of your initial resources. Um, so, we'll do that for a day or two, and then before our next episode, I'm going to reflect on what happened with Wolfgang, what we did, where we might be able to do a little bit better. Um, yeah, because I'm really hoping I can make it to at least a month. Maybe that should be my, my don't starve New Year's resolution. I don't even have anything to kill the turkey with. Stay away from my berries, you shady, shady turkey. 
Oh, this is a good find, though. We found a regen stone, touchstone. So I think if we activate it, it hurts our sanity, doesn't it? Oh, no, I think that's just if we are respawned through it. All right, Wendy. All right, we need to make some tools. That's what we need to do. It's been so long since I have, you know, restarted Don't Starve, and by so long, I mean 23 in-game days, apparently, that every time I start over, I forget what I'm doing. So there's always this brief moment of, oh god, now what? Gosh darn open games. But we're just going to run around and collect a bunch of resources, explore a little bit. Maybe we'll find Beefalo somewhere that's not the complete other side of the world. Um, let's make an axe first off, because I know we're definitely going to need wood. And we might as well chop it since we're here. Uh, da, 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 da. She's got a dead sister, so I'm pretty sure that she will need some sanity assistance. So we're definitely going to want to work on collecting flowers for her flower garland. I'm still so disappointed. All of my size. I can't believe I just decided... Well, I didn't really decide to get killed, but... Somewhere, unconsciously, I didn't think of the consequences. Such is the life of Aiden. Alright, alright, trees. That's alright. We'll take our frustration out on these trees. And gosh darn it, Wendy, you might be a spaced out little blonde girl, but we will make things happen. Let's see here. We need to find some food. We basically need to do everything. We're in that part of the game where we need to do everything. But I do want to set up a drying rack or two pretty close, or pretty well as soon as I'm able. Uh, I do want to get a crock pot so that I can make some more fulfilling foods. Um, <laughs> priorities, priorities. Right now we'll focus on the whole resource gathering business. And then, yeah, before next episode, like I said, I'll reflect on how Wolfgang's situation went. Um, and I will make a plan. I will set out some goals so that I can streamline this process. And sometimes when you're playing games like Don't Starve, you can lose sort of your focus and figure out where you're going and what have you. Granted, on cold medicine, I don't have much of a focus anyway, so that's what I'll need to do. I'll need to refine that focus a little bit. It's almost dusk, too, so it's good that she's not afraid of the dark. That'll let us run around and won't have to deal with her whining. Oh, there's a, a wormhole right there. Where have we sort of gone? Just sort of in a circle. Oh yeah, okay, I did see a pond over here. So that's nice. Fairly close to our spawn. There is a pond. We can make some, uh, make a fishing rod. As soon as we get some silk, which for that we need to find a weapon. Oh, I need to prioritize my life. Another pond. Oh yeah, flowers. That was, that was one of the priorities. I find it difficult to believe that a flower garland would help someone so deeply troubled. I love that I picked all this grass, but I did not pick the flower. Run around, Wendy. She's kind of adorable, actually. Aside from the whole not having any pupils thing. That's a little bit strange. But I guess, again, she did lose her sister. I do recall her sister being kind of a biatch, too. Something like, if you touch her she'll cause you damage, which is really kind of messed up, because, I don't know, I could only guess at how old Wendy would be, but if you lost your twin sister, I imagine all you would want to do is hug her. So that's, that's kind of messed up. Alright, we got a garland that should help us with some sanity a little bit. Like, whole big old wasteland down here. Oh, look! Look! Beefalo! We don't really need their poop just yet, but there's beefalo. Lots of beefalo. Lots and lots and lots of beefalo. That's an exciting situation. I like this landform. This is a good landform. I might never leave. Alright, so there's beefalo. Should maybe run through the rest of that little, uh, 
little thing there because it looks like this is just going to connect to the piece of land that we are on. Yep, yep, yep. That is indeed what it is doing. Do we have enough to make a campfire? That's good because I wasn't really focusing on that. Okay, so we know there's beefalo. Let's skirt around the outside perimeter here uh, just before night comes and we'll see where this sort of connects. Because as soon as there's beefalo, I immediately want to like touch down my roots and start a little home. Let's see. Oh, she's comfortable in the dark. Does that mean I can just walk around in the pitch black? Probably not. And then there was light. Do we have anything to cook? We do have some things we can cook, so that's good. All right. Let's see here. So I think I will end up keeping this episode pretty short. We got a little bit of an introduction to Wendy. We haven't met her sister yet, but let's see. I can sense Abigail's... Maybe that tells me uh, when, sh when her sister will show up. I remember when I played her last time, she just kind of showed up sometimes, and you didn't really have any indication as to when she was going to be there. Um, and if nothing's changed, I think you can still use her sister to help you fight enemies, hounds, stuff like that, because she does cause damage. Um, so maybe that helps you sort of strategically plan that a little bit more. I don't know, we'll have to experiment and see. Um, but as this day turns, I am going to end the episode just because I need to go mourn Wolfgang's passing and plan our future with Wendy. So we explored not much. We only got a tiny bit of landform exploration. We can see kind of what we're working with initially. Um, there might also be beefalo up top there, but this is a good area, I think, for setting up a base. Possibly. Possibly. We're still going to do a little bit of exploration before we commit. Um, but there's beefalo here, there's ponds over there, um, so that's a pretty good food source, at least for the summer months. No rocks yet. We'll have to, we'll have to look for rocks and flint and, and gold and such. Um, but that being said, I am going to end this episode here, so thank you all for joining me, joining me, rather, on the rather, um, abrupt killing of our poor friend Wolfgang. And our new start with the cute little blonde Wendy wearing her flower garland, looking precious as can be with her lack of pupils. Um, so leave me some comments, pop on over to twitter.com slash imevolves and chat with me there. I'm working almost straight for the next, I think, eight or ten days, so I will need the sanity um, of my Twitter friends. But yeah, until next Thursday, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you then. Bye now.